Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chip Walters here again to talk a little bit more about the Veronois uh, technique uh, as you see here. Um, before we were using Illustrator to get these fillets on these little uh, Veronois sections, wall sections, and uh, with the help of Max uh, and Frenchie, uh, there's some other tools uh, that we can now do this directly inside of Moe. So uh, here we are uh, using the Veronois plugin, and basically I'm kind of starting over again a couple times because sometimes I don't get it quite right. And you can see I keep kind of interactively playing with it, trying to make sure that I'm getting the the, the most even segments as possible because any real tight segments are going to be a problem, and we'll have to go back and edit those. So I'm moving around and and. Uh, clicking I've got a couple areas you can see that are already getting pretty tight I'll have to manually go in and tweak those and uh, fix uh, fix those in fact it might be a, a good opportunity uh, for Max to maybe put in a uh, a limiter on how close points can be uh, in the uh, the Veronois point generator so um, uh, the other thing I mentioned is that Max also has a new uh, uh, fat lines plugin that's really great that will basically do offsets on each one of these and balloon them together. We're going to show how that's uh, going to be used here in a second. Uh, so again, once I get this done, now I'm going to go in and I'm going to start cleaning up all these, uh, all the, all the uh, basic lines that, uh, so I, with, with the intention that what I want to try and do is minimize any points that are really close to each other like that one I'm getting rid of. You can see I'm going to zoom around and try and get as much space on each side. And this is because the fillet command needs needs this to be able to get uh, you know to create a decent fill out on all these surfaces so I'm keeping in mind I'm trying to keep everything uh, uh, convex and not concave in terms of each one of the polygons that's one of the goals and I'm trying to keep you know create a largest possible uh, line segment if you know between these different poly lines so uh, uh, once I get this done We'll slow down here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this box, uh, the external box here, and I'm going to uh, I'll cut that out. And then I select everything, and I run this fat lines plugin, and I'm going to use a point three. And then I say okay, and I delete the original lines. I paste back in this other box. I'm going to shrink it because it's to, in order to trim it, I, I need to shrink it just a little bit. Uh, there we go. Uh, and then I'll I'll planer it. And then I'll uh, Boolean merge, select everything, Boolean merge it, and then hit delete. Now I've got just a bunch of polygons. I delete the insides. Now these are just all a bunch of, of basic polygons. I can basically, at this point, I can take my whole group and I can extrude it directly up. Uh, and uh, you can see that this is a Vernois pattern. And uh, really the goal here now is just I need to fill it all this stuff. So I'm going to take some of the more tightly challenging uh, ones with the shortest uh, sides, uh, you know, uh, profiles, uh, and find those, and I'll fill up those first because I want to understand. I want to get to the maximum number fillet where I don't, uh, where I can still maintain that I still have a solid here. So I'll I'll go in and start playing with some fillet numbers, uh, and uh, and try and see how they were. Point two seems pretty good, but look at I can go larger than that. It's pretty clear I can go larger than that. So let's try. Uh, something a little bit bigger, maybe a point three. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. So I think I'll just stay with that. Okay, I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to fill up everything now at point three. And this is a technique that, as mentioned, Frenchie was showing me because uh, you can't fill up all those different polygons at the same time, but I can certainly fill up all these these objects at the same time. So once I've got this done, now I just need to Boolean out uh, and in my case, I'm going to make a solid. I'll just, uh, by the way, first I'm going to use this really cool little uh, script, which is centering everything. It's called uh, Center at Origin. And now I just centered everything on the origin. And then I'll grab uh, a solid and box. And let's just go ahead and create a solid box in here. Uh, and I need to stretch it out a little bit. Uh, and of course, you can, you know, You've got CAD skills, everyone does, and you can get this so it lines up perfectly, but I'm just kind of guessing here for right now, just to make it look decent. I'll radius these corners. Uh, there we go. Uh, and what I also want to do is I'm going to do a, a 
offset inset along the edges here or uh, edges of this surface. Uh, actually, first of all, boolean. Okay, so there's my there's my boolean boolean uh, subtraction uh, object. You can see the Vorongil pattern worked out really nicely in there. Now I'll, I'll, I'll do that offset I was just telling you about where I'm going to do a, a quick offset. And then once I've done that, I will. Uh, there we go. Got a little offset. I'm going to play with these numbers until I can get it just right. There we go. Okay, now once I've got that done, I'm going to fill it this, uh, uh, the whole model. And that's going to take a while, so I'm going to have to speed ahead while that's filling. Uh, but uh, I'll select the, the whole model and fill it at uh, 0.05 and wait for it. And there you go, it's done. Back <laughs> didn't happen that fast in real life. So anyway, this is the uh, this is the final model, uh, and you can see I'll turn off the wire so you can see it. Um, and I kind I really like this this approach. Uh, there's some other approaches online, but I like this kind of uh, approach. It's not quite as amorphous as some of the other ones, yet it still maintains a, a level of fidelity and uh, uh, and and a smoothness that I, I particularly like. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. And we'll talk to you again. Thanks a lot.